bologna sandwich, something we all grew up with, something that, uh, love it or hate it, you've had it. We call it the poor man's steak. You know, I like to call it um, the hot dog pancake. I think it's a perfect sandwich when your wife's making dinner and you're like, man, I need something to snack on. You know, and you make one of those things or you go to your mom's and she's making mole and you're like, man, I'm not gonna eat that. So you have to go sneak away and eat something. So today I'll be making a bologna sandwich. We all make one at the house, right? This one's just a little different. Uh, one of our last videos, we made an aioli. So to this aioli, we're gonna add some stuff to it and make it a little bit better. I have a pan that's hot back there. Cool thing is you go to H-E-B and they could cut you however size you want your bologna. Bologna would be good, girth. you know, if you have the, you get it cut thick. You know, you can get the regular ones too. You know, but I just feel like if you're gonna spend, you're gonna spend $2 on a pack of bologna, might as well just get what you want. Thickness wise or whatever. We're gonna put this in a hot skillet back here. Ooh, easy as mantaquilla on a hot tortilla. So then we're gonna do is we're gonna, so that aioli, we're gonna put pickles in it, right? So we're gonna cut it, cut it. One pickle. And then we have these really awesome banana peppers. I like them that they're rings already, because then I just could just cut them however I want to cut them. I don't gotta worry about anything else. And you can put however many you want in there, you know? I like it just because it adds a little spice to it. And then like, I'm just doing a rough shop. I'm not doing anything like fancy, any of that good stuff. This is just gonna be like this, chopped in there. And then we have olives. You know, some people are like, oh, I don't like olives, they're so scary. What if I swallow the pit? You know, my buddy Raul's like that. He only can eat like certain things in his mouth and everything else he complains about. But this is good, see? And then we're doing like this, just all shafa, right? See, so as you can see, like, you know, we have this really cool stuff going on in here. So we got the oli and we end up uh, adding uh, olives, pickles, and uh, some of the peppers into it. So now we added texture, we added more flavor. I'm gonna mix it right now, I'm gonna check out my, my bologna. Ooh, so now we're gonna get our bread here. So me being me, I went and uh, I got the wrong bread but I found these hot dog buns. So it said I cut the hot dog buns like this. So it's like a double bread thing, you know? Martha Stewart, I already did this, so you can't steal it. Yeah, and then we mix all our goodies together, right? So but now like, I don't know which is the bottom or the top. There's nothing, wrong, there's nothing wrong with two tops and nothing wrong with two bottoms. So then we're gonna put our, our mayonnaise stuff here, right? Everyone's all like, oh my God, that's so chunky. There's nothing wrong with Chunky Buddy. Look at me. Okay, so we come back like this. Okay. Then we put our lettuce on the bottom. Right. Like that. Like that. And then we put our tomatoes that I cut. Make sure we season our tomatoes though. Right? Because who likes bland food? Use your handy dandy tahin. Right. We put this bad guy on the top like this. We'll go get our bolognese. Woo! Good old hot dog pancakes. So you put them like that, right? Everyone's all like, miralo. And then to top it off, queso fresco. Why? Because we have it in our fridge, and if not, it's gonna go to waste. And how many times can I come home drunk and eat a thing of queso fresco without getting it into my mustache? And then we add a queso fresco to, you know, kind of, you know, add that, 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 that clean flavor that we needed for it. So now you have like fattiness in there. You have acidity because of the pickles and all the stuff we put in there, you know, and then you have a creaminess because of the sauce. You know, it's something that goes just, it's just really good. Here we have our bologna sandwich with all the goodies in it. You know, the kids will like something that, you know, no matter, I don't care who you are, like it's gonna be good.